Okay, so call four, uh, review sheet A, question 1C, it's like the never-ending question, um, and we're multiplying and dividing fractions this time. So starting off with C part I, um, looking at this then, multiplying fractions, we multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms. So on the top then, I've just got 10AB squared C squared, um, and on the bottom I've got 5AC. And I'm looking for factors that go into the top and go into the bottom. So over here, um, starting with the numbers, I've got 10 and 5, both of which are multiples of 5. So let's divide both by 5. So I've got 2 on the top, and I'm not going to put the 1 on the bottom because there's going to be other stuff. Anyway, or maybe I will. Who knows? Um, A divided by A, that's going to cancel out because there's the same power of them both. On the top here, I've got B squared, and I've got no Bs on the bottom, so that just leaves B squared. And on the top here, I've got C squared, and on the bottom, just a C. So one of those is going to cancel, which leaves me a C on top. Um, dividing anything by one is just itself, so that's just 2B squared C. Looking at the next part then, dividing fractions, we flip the second fraction upside down and we multiply. So the first one is still going to be 4x over 3y. Then we're multiplying by 9y squared over 8x. So again, multiplying across the top and across the bottom, I've got 36xy squared and 24xy. Okay, so this has a multiple, well, this is a multiple of 12, so it's this. So that's 3 over 2. I've got an x at the top and bottom, so they're going to cancel, and I've got a y squared on the top and a y on the bottom, so that'll leave just a y on the top. So it's 3y over 2. Um, if you like, you can actually cancel these before you multiply. So I've got a 9 here and a 3 here. Leaves a 3 on the top. I've got a 4 here and an 8 here. Leaves a 2 on the bottom x cancels with an x, y squared over y is just y, so you can do it that way if you prefer. And on to part three. So again, we're going to flip the second fraction and multiply, so that gives you p minus q over pq, um, and now we're multiplying by p squared over q, p squared minus q squared. Um, so a trick here, if you have any kind of quadratics on the top or the bottom, is to try and factorise them first. Oops, sorry. Um, so factorising, I've got P minus Q here over PQ times P squared Q. And again, we've got difference of two squares going on here. So P squared minus Q squared is P plus Q, P minus Q. And... Looking here, we've got a factor of P minus Q on the top and a factor of P minus Q on the bottom, so cancelling those out. I've also got a P on the top and a P on the bottom, well, P squared on the top, so that cancels out to leave just P. I've got a Q over Q cancels, and I've also still got that P plus Q on the bottom, so we're done.